I'm going to review the iHealth PT3 Infrared No Touch Forehead Thermometer and I'll also show you how you configure it to be in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. This thermometer is very easy to use and configure. It only has one button that you hold down to take a temperature and it returns it in less than a second. Let's open the box and take a look at what's inside. So straight away there is a piece of tape here, I already sliced it to get into the box. little tray comes with the user's manual which you can read a little quick start guide the thermometer itself and normally in here there'd be two AAA batteries. I've already taken them out and already installed them in the unit. To open the battery compartment, you just need to push down where there's a little detent here to release this little hook from inside, and then it just slides back. These are the two batteries, AAA, that I came with. Just put it back, just slide it back on and close it like that. The only one button does everything right here, so you can click on it. And since I'm out of range of anything to read, it's just showing me uh, three dots and the Fahrenheit. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way and I'll show you how the device works. So it's pretty simple uh, to use the thermometer just aim it at your forehead about one inch or three centimeters or less from your forehead and press and hold the measurement button right here in the middle and it'll vibrate when it has a good reading for a measurement so just for the sake of this film I'll just take a reading off my hand which is not ideal so to do that I need to hold it about an inch away from my hand and press and hold the button down and it already has a reading of course it's off because it's not my forehead and it's my hand and there's a little bit of hair on my hand they don't want that but that's it's as simple as that so if I was a little too far away if I demonstrate with it oh, about let's say more than an inch it might not come back with a reading I'm holding it now and it looks like that when you don't when you're out of range so it's not going to give you a reading but again if you do it inch or less gave me a little vibration and you can see that it, it has a reading so again if you're too far away you try to take a reading it'll just show you three dots on whatever units of measure you have I let go of it and after a few seconds it'll turn itself off My thermometer shipped in Fahrenheit, but if you want to change your unit of measure to Celsius, it's easy to do. All you need to do is pick up the device, make sure it's off, hold the button down for measurement while out of range of anything to measure. It'll change to a flashing C and F at the top. It takes about eight seconds right there. Now you just toggle the one you want. So let's say I want to go to Celsius and then to lock it in, you hold the measure button for another eight seconds and it'll automatically turn off. That's it, and let go. So now if I was to take my measurement, it should be in Celsius. So let's give that a try. I'll move my hand about an inch away. Press and hold. And there you go, 36.1 Celsius. So again, to put it back to Fahrenheit, Easy enough, make sure it goes all the way off. Hold and press the measure button. Wait for the units to start flashing, both Celsius and Fahrenheit. There you go. Toggle the one you want. That's the one. Now I'm gonna press and hold again. And after eight seconds, it'll lock in.
Let's take a reading. There you go. 96.9. Overall, this is a very nice no-touch thermometer. I do recommend it. I'll put links in the description below where you can purchase it. It retails for around $54 or under that, uh, and that includes shipping. You can purchase these no-touch thermometers at Amazon or Wise, who has uh, sourced them out from the manufacturer. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe.